What's up everybody? It's uh, Connor Collectibles here. Today I have a different kind of video for you guys. You know, you've seen my collection room and everything. You've seen my 1-6 scale collectibles. But today we're going into the 1-1 to -one scale props. Um, this is from one of my favorite video games of all time, Halo 3 ODST. Uh, it is the ODST armor by the man himself, Sean Bradley Studios. His name is Sean Bradley. He makes uh, vacuum formed ABS kits, which are really, really dope. And I can't wait to open this up right now. So let's get started. All right. I do have cats around. So if they start coming at the camera, I'm sorry. If they're too bothersome, I can put them away. But I've always loved the ODST look ever since I was a little kid. And this just excites me so much. So right here on the front of it, I'm not gonna show you my address or anything. Um, I think I just did. <laughs> we'll blow that out. Um, but I have just like, the rundown of it, the ODST armor. All right, this is inside the box. All right. We got stuff at the top, so I can't just be pulling out plastic here. Okay, I see this is like just extra to join the pieces together. This extra plastic, okay. If this is what it's made out of, this is sturdy. All right, we got the foam pieces for the shoulder straps. Okay. You just, uh. So yeah, it's made out of an EVA floor foam mat, and these are gonna be the shoulder pieces that go over the shoulder. And you got two of those, which is pretty cool. And I'll lay everything out once I get everything out of the box and ready to go. So part of the form right here. The top of the form. This is actually really thicker than I thought. Like I was gonna I was thinking about um applying a resin coating on the inside to like uh, strengthen it, but this might be good enough as it is like we'll see we'll see all right here's the other set for the other arm okay. Ooh, shoulder armor look at that let me pull this away. So you guys can see everything. So, shoulder armor. Sick. Doesn't specify which is left and right, which is alright. I guess it doesn't really matter. The other shoulder armor. Cat wants to play with all the, the stuff over here. It's all his tail. Um, resin uh, or 3D printed. I can't. T I think it's resin. Yeah. Just belt buckles and clips and stuff for screen accuracy. This is the top of the kneecaps. Yep. Right there. And I'll show everything more in detail after I get it unboxed. But the other kneecap. The elbows, it looks like. 
that connect to the gauntlet. Something like that. My cat is like so intrigued over here. It's like heaven with all this paper. Uh, this looks like the toe cap for the boots. Yep. The shin side plates. There should be four of those. One on each side of the shins. Here are the shins themselves. So this would be the right side of the thighs, I think. And then these would be the left. So then it would come together like that. Uh, side plates. Left side. Belt buckle. Butt plate. <clears throat> Front of the shin. Second shin. I don't think there's a right or left specific, like specific. So we'll see what happens. Side piece or hip plates. Upper back collar. Running out of space over here. A thigh piece. I'm thinking this is the right thigh. No. All right. The left thigh. The crotch protector that hangs down. The center abdomen piece. Right abdomen piece. Left 
abdomen. This is the front collar piece. Yep. And everything on it has like an extra bit of what we call flashing. And what that is, is basically from the mold and he just cut it away. Um, I have to sand that back and make sure it fits me um, proportionate. Last. Here is the back, lower back piece that connects to that back collar piece right here. So this will go here, just like so. And it runs down the back end of everything, so. And the last piece, the bread and butter, which basically is that ODST chest plate, okay? I may have had it upside down. So that goes, just like so. Just pretty nice. Overall, the, the feel of it, it's thick. Like, I don't think I'm gonna need to reinforce it with resin. I think that would make it heavier. But um, this is a beautiful um, cast. Uh, and I'm going to lay everything out for you guys and I will show you everything one by one. So here we are back with everything laid out. You can see how many pieces this comes with now. Uh, I'm going to go over everything again just so you guys know. So up here we got the back collar. We've got the front collar piece. We've got the shoulder plates right and left. Down here, we got the back, lower back piece, chest plate, abdomen section right here, middle, left and right, then your belt buckle. These plates line up with that section right there to make it look like everything's connected and there's a left and a right for that. Elbow armor that connects to the forearms. I gotta figure out a way to like how I wanna attach it either with um, like a hinge or something. I don't know yet. And they have both a left and a right of that, obviously. Coming down here, we got the front cod piece right here and the butt plate. We got the hip plates left and right. Two thigh pieces, your left and your right. Knee plates, which are gonna connect to the front of the shins here, which again, your left and your right, they are you know, specific. And then these wrap around your calf while that sits in the front and it's like strapped together. These go to the sides, kind of right here, and they'll attach like that. Then we got our foot, shoe, boot, whatever, uh, armor. So you don't just have a boot and it looks all bulky everywhere else. And then you gotta just a regular boot. So you got the boot cover boot caps and that is the rundown of it i am absolutely excited to start this project you also get the straps up top they're made out of again the eva floor foam mats i'm gonna wrap those in fabric put strapping over it and everything and make it look screen accurate to the video game and i did miss these things which i showed in the unboxing but they're just like straps and buckles made out of resin that go down on the, the shins, the thighs, and also the chest plate up top. Uh, again, I'm excited to start this project. I will be doing multiple videos, part ones, part twos, part threes, whatever it takes on the steps, you know, maybe putting it together and riveting everything to a bodysuit or something, and that'll be part one, and then you know, painting it and like, whatever, you know? Oh, here's one of those cats right there, Bella. But again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. I will be posting in the description where I bought it from. 
uh, how long it took for me to get it and stuff like that. And I will see you guys in the next video.